and salutations. How is everyone doing tonight? So, one thing is that sometimes that we might do for this show is sometimes we might ask questions. But today's question is, should we preserve physical media? Uh, the easy answer is yes. However, sometimes there can be issues and all of that. And also, some people are going to say they know the future is streaming. But yeah, I'm going to discuss, and at times, I might ramble on. So, bear with me. Today, we're going to discuss why we should always preserve physical media. So, um, sometimes when it comes to film, or sometimes when it comes to film, or heck, even gaming, sometimes it might be the case of like say certain media that's been lost that we might not have been able to get our hands on like you know like lost to fires and all that sort of things um however i've got to say sometimes when it comes to things like blu-rays the great thing is sometimes the if it's an old film from like the 19 or well, 1940s the 50s and all those over decades sometimes that can really beautify you know make a film look beautiful 10 times as as good as it did you know make it look as good as it was like when it came out or 10 times better uh, heck i mean <coughs> sorry i have I mean i have multiple films that i will sometimes watch that like you know i'm just saying say thank goodness i have this on blu-ray or or, or dvd like this one for us house which is a japanese film that is so hard to describe that it's like, say, watching a fever dream, in a way. But you just have, you just like watch, like look, looking at it, in a way. Like, this is part of the Criterion Collection. This is probably the, the first Criterion film I ever had, had you know, received. Well, I got this for Christmas one year. And I still love it, though. That maybe one day, for the show, we will actually look at this one. Perhaps so. Heck, heck another film I'd say that, you know, perhaps that... Like, heck, heck, sometimes when it comes to film, I will say, sometimes I don't really discover some films until I'm, like, looking at a thrift store or everything. And, and I just, like, look at... I'm just, like, seeing things, I just, like, wow. Well, this exists, but like in the case of I'm Madman, which, if you have not seen this film, it's actually really good. Like, sometimes I, well, I will say, like, hey, sometimes I might just find something on, uh, because sometimes in this show, I will just find things online, because, you know, and I'll, you know, because sometimes you might not be able to see, or don't have the time to buy it or all that stuff but if i will i was able to do that i say heck yeah try and get a copy of i man man in a way heck i will even say sometimes it's always good to try to get copies of other like you know foreign films or japanese films like vampire girl versus frankenstein girl yeah i know I have some very outlandish taste in film. And you know what? I don't care. I like this film. Heck, I actually like uh, Tokyo Gore Police. It was done by the same director. I like I like uh, this kind of film where it's the gore is over the top and all that. Heck, I will even say I have a film that is still kind of that is part of, like, you know, like, my, and also the creator of this Drive-In Midnight Special, our history, in a way, are also our friendship. The year fired studios, the part of the Laugh Center, season one. 
This was a DVD that I had given to my parents. That was basically just a couple, like, compilations of the first few episodes that we had done. If you, if you have, if, like, if, sometimes we'll have, like, say, I mean, that, I feel like, say, yeah, that is preserving the past. Even, you know, like, say, you can, I could probably find this on YouTube, of my old videos. Sometimes, they like, looking back, like, things like, say, uh, the fair use stuff and all that, where we have, where sometimes you have to get rid of old videos because of copyright infringement. I still will, you know, I still like this. I might not always look back at it because, you know, but I still like this. This was something I, I was given by my, the creator of the show back in 2008. But yeah, I gotta say, yeah, still a great thing. I never would uh, say is that I will always, when it comes to physical media, is, well, I sometimes will, I have, like, say, a record player over there. It's not over here, here, but it's over there, there. I will sometimes still collect records from musicals or everything. For those that don't know, I love musicals. Well, I went to, like, you know, college for, uh, you know, stage stuff. But, yeah. So, yeah. And sometimes I will just, like, say I will find TV, you know, TV shows on, uh, you know, at Thrift Stores too. Like I said, I love Thrift Stores. Battlestar Galactica. Like, one could say, well, yeah, I could get this on, say, online. But, say, heck, even for TV shows... It might be good to, like, you know, get the box sets. Because sometimes, like, you know, what if the case is, like, say, well, I might not want to spend money to buy another subscription-based service to do this. Like, you know, watch this. But, yes, I still think even if you are wanting to watch the show, you have this option. I, I, I'm the kind of guy who likes to, I still buy DVDs, or I, I still buy Blu-rays, you know, because it's fun to, then you know, you'll sometimes will see a bit of past. I have not bought my first, uh, the Blu-ray Blu high-def disc thing, but yeah, those are cool too. Heck, I will sometimes, heck, like, well, I have not done this recently. I will sometimes still collect C, uh, not CDs, the audio cassettes tapes. Yeah, I still have some of those. Especially in the day, today's day of, like, say, uh, iTunes, Spotify, and all those things. It's pretty cool, still kind of cool that you can sometimes find cassette tapes and all that stuff. And yeah, I, I do have uh, Tokyo Cool. Yeah, whatever. I like I like my anime live action sometimes. Hello, uh, so what do you guys think? Should we all? I'm under pres uh, the view that we should always, you know, preserve physical media, whether it's gaming or heck, even film. Well, I mean, I'm not even going to go into how many games, uh, I've collected in a way, yeah. Well, yeah, probably too many. <laughs> but, yeah. I gotta say, it's always great to preserve physical media. I mean, we could probably, some people could say, well, you can get it on Netflix, you can get it on all these other things. But sometimes you might, like, you know, Netflix might think, well, I might, we don't really want to keep that, you know, that film on there, because, well, that film isn't really getting much traction. So, sometimes, we still have the physical form of that, uh, media to go back onto. I mean, you know, you still might have the whole issue of, like, saying, well, we gotta get the, 
but we got to get the disc out. We got to do all that stuff. And who else knows what we got to do? But I'm going to say, but yeah, I like collecting uh, DVDs and CDs. Heck, I will. Ha I still have a copy of a uh, VHS tape that I kind of hold dear, which is a tape of Oklahoma that was uh, that was given to my friend. So yeah, Heck, I I don't really have a VHS, but you know, I could always look that up when I say other streaming services and probably watch that. But I still like to have the no have the novelty of owning that thing. Plus, I'm sure there is a lot of films that are lost in the fact that maybe they didn't get a DVD release, they didn't get a Blu release, they only had a VHS release, and were never transferred to other formats, perhaps. So that's always sometimes the case. So a film not really getting a the love it needs. It would just get, like, say, have a VHS version and n no one really cares, so it never really gets a upgrade, perhaps. But what do you guys think? Today's been a very special episode. Put your thoughts and comments below. What would you like to see us discuss as a special topic next time? See you later, guys.